Hello, my name is Ivan Evans and I am the Provost of Eleanor Roosevelt College. Hi, my name is Sarah Spear Barrett and I'm the Dean of Advising at Eleanor Roosevelt College. And hi, I'm Trish Scott, the Dean of Student Affairs for Eleanor Roosevelt College. Today we're going to try to deliver to you our normal presentation for Triton Day events done remotely in this new world we're in. Please excuse us if it's not as smooth and coherent as it normally would be. This was a fast last minute addition for you, but hopefully it'll give you a chance to be introduced to the college and feel welcomed by us and provide you with information. So now I'll go ahead and share with you the normal PowerPoint. Again, welcome to UC San Diego and I hope to Eleanor Roosevelt College as well. Congratulations, you folks have worked hard uh, and now you've been admitted to one of the top institutions of higher education, not only in the United States, but in the world. Again, congratulations. Uh, welcome to Eleanor Roosevelt College. This is um, not going to be a normal presentation, uh, as you can see. Um, We've, uh, we had to make this uh, video um, weeks ahead uh, of Triton Day, and we were given basically one day in which to do it, and this is our best effort. I hope you will enjoy it. Um, Eleanor Roosevelt College is uh, one of the um, seven colleges at the uh, University of California, San Diego. Um, uh, each college, as you know, has its own distinctive mission. Um, with the distinctive uh, projects and programs, and also um, their own gen ed requirements. Um, Eleanor Roosevelt College is distinguished by its um, commitment uh, to creating uh, world citizens. And this is embodied in the motto of the college, scholarship, leadership, and service. At UC San Diego, you can expect to be challenged by some of the um, best uh, academics, some of the most innovative uh, research um, uh, in the United States and even in the world. Um, and Ellen, Eleanor Roosevelt College is going to complement that by providing, with you, providing you uh, with numerous opportunities to become uh, a global citizen uh, and to participate in active, engaged learning. Um, later on, um, the two deans uh, will explore this theme uh, at greater length and um, they will explain uh, why Eleanor Roosevelt College stands out amongst the other colleges at UC San Diego um, for its comprehensive and resolute focus on questions of global justice, international peace, and developing world citizens through scholarship, leadership, and service. So many will ask why the colleges, what makes UC San Diego unique, this seems very confusing. And it can be very confusing to try to understand initially, but I think once students are here, they really feel like it's a place they belong and it provides them with a smaller, more focused neighborhood and support system from which they can thrive. This is an example of what an undergraduate education might look like at a typical R1 institution of 35,000 undergraduate students, where it's very confusing, the path to find the support services isn't very direct, you're not sure who to go to to ask questions of, and it may feel much more impersonal. We hope at the college system what we've done is provided a more personal way to navigate your university, to make use of your educational experiences inside and outside of the classroom, and really what we hope is to put students in the center of all that we do. Each college is comprised of about 5,200 students with a unique staff dedicated just to that college. So in this example, you can see the departments here that are for Eleanor Roosevelt College alone. We work with you from the time that you're admitted right now, all the way through to shaking your hand at graduation. So regardless of your major or interest, you remain within the college support system as you navigate the next four years of your life. So at Eleanor Roosevelt College, as the provost said, our motto is developing global citizens through scholarship, leadership, and service. This is woven through all of our extracurricular activities as well as the academic program that you'll be part of um, and will complement all of the focus within your major. Here you'll see a picture of Eleanor Roosevelt 
upholding the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, of which she was one of the authors for the United Nations after World War II. Eleanor Roosevelt was a real champion for human rights as well as civil rights within the United States. And we like to believe that that's a a, she's a guardian in terms of what we think of and where we try to aim our students as we help you develop in your college experience. So when you think of an academic overview at UC San Diego, here's what's very unique about it. You may choose any of the 150 majors at UC San Diego and still be part of Eleanor Roosevelt College, unlike most institutions where you're divided up by major or major interest. This means that your roommate may be an engineering major while you're a literature major or a sociology major. It actually allows an extra level of diversity in your experiences here and allows you to have more of an experience of what it's like in the real world where not everyone around you has the same interests you do. However, you will share a common academic program through your general education requirements of the college. So your UC San Diego degree is divided into really three areas your general education requirements, which are unique to Eleanor Roosevelt College, the requirements of your major, which you share with students across the university, and then the opportunity to perhaps have electives, minors, or second major. So Eleanor Roosevelt College's general education includes the Making the Modern World, otherwise known as MMW, the academic program attached to the college. This is a sequential program that's interdisciplinary, taught by faculty across all disciplines within the university and does encompass the university writing requirement. So you won't have a separate writing course. It's a program that looks at the development of civilizations across history. It's not world history unique to itself. It's really looking at how cultures and human norms were developed throughout time and looking at it across the world at the same time. So you might be looking at slavery in the US as well as developments of trade in China at the same time. Students are also asked to take two courses in the sciences, and we have courses available for science majors as well as non-science majors. Quantitative skills, otherwise known as math. Again, courses for students who need math for their major as well as other courses for non-math major requirements. One course in the fine arts, a proficiency in a foreign language, which can be met through SAT, AP, or native speaking, as well as coursework, and three courses in what we call a regional specialization in one of our designated geographical regions of the world. You can see where this complements our idea of developing global citizens. Any of the courses required for your general education requirements may also meet major requirements, depending on your major. And we'll show you a little bit about how you can see that in our next slide. This is a website we've developed for each college and each major at UCSD, where you can look in and see how your major requirements interact with the Eleanor Roosevelt requirements to see how you can graduate in four years. These plans are developed without including any advanced placement, international baccalaureate, or transfer coursework that might place you a little differently. You can see these plans at plans.ucsd.edu, look up your major and your particular department. We do want to remind you that there are many capped majors within UC San Diego, which means they have a limit to the number of students they can admit into those majors. You may have applied into one of the thought these listed majors and not been admitted and admitted as an undeclared major or perhaps your second choice major. If you're still planning to come to UCSD and be one of these majors, we want you to look at this website and look at what the requirements are to get into the major to be sure it's an option for you. Again, not all students who want to major in these departments get into them. They're very limited spots. So for instance, if you really want to be an electrical and computer engineering major and you are admitted directly into that major at another university, you may want to consider whether that's a better option than trying to be admitted into the major here at UC San Diego, where it may, not, may or may not be a possibility for you. So we do encourage you to look at the CAPT majors website and come in knowing that you may not get into that major, but we do have many other majors that may be appropriate for you and help you get to your long-term goals, regardless of that particular major. So there's a whole lot more at your institution and certainly here at UC San Diego than the time that you spend in the, in the classroom. One of the things that we're most proud about here at Eleanor Roosevelt College is the way that we integrate what you're learning in the classroom with the opportunities that are available to you outside of the classroom. One of the wonderful things about the college system 
is that you will have the benefit of a small community within a very large institution. So it's like being at a small college, but having the resources of all of the large research one level institutions. You'll have a home base for academic advising, co-curricular programming, and student services. As Dean Spear Barrett mentioned, we only see Eleanor Roosevelt College students, and that provides an opportunity for you to get to know us on a much more um, interpersonal level than you might at a larger institution without the college system. And last but not least, you certainly will have a distinctive neighborhood. We're very proud of the facilities that we have here at Eleanor Roosevelt College. They were built all at the same time, so there is a cohesive look and feel to your community. And we hope that you will join us. We offer a variety of special opportunities or what have been determined to be high impact experiences for our students. One of those is studying abroad. We do not require our students to study abroad, but we are proud to say that we have the highest percentage of any of the UC San Diego colleges participating in this program. We also offer scholarships for students that may have a need to be able to assist in the funding of their opportunities to go abroad. And this is also something that is coordinated with the financial aid office. We also have global seminars where you will do coursework and service opportunities. And this is a great way to get a hands-on feel for what it's like to be in a foreign country and have the opportunity to do service in that area. Typically during spring break, we offer what is called our Breakaway and Global Service Seminar. And in the past, we have visited and done service at the Navajo Reservation in Arizona. We've had students go to South Africa and Zambia, and also to Catalina Island, amongst some of the other locations that we have visited over the course of the last 23 years. Additionally, as Dean Spear Barrett mentioned, a third of your coursework might include a minor. And ERC is proud to host the Human Rights in Migration Studies minor. We've talked a lot about global citizenship. And as you can see, we try to weave that thematic into the academic programs that are available to you, the student organizations that we have here at the college, leadership and residence life experiences that you can take advantage of, and service opportunities. Student life at UC San Diego is very, very dynamic. So we have over 500 campus-wide student organizations, athletics, and activities. We are going to Division I athletics come the fall of 2020, and we will be in the Mountain West um, Division. We're excited about all of that brings, and we hope that you will come out and support your fellow Tritons, whether that's on the field or on a basketball court or court of some sort. Also, it's important to realize that we have college-based organizations and activities. Within the Student Affairs Unit, we have staff, professional staff, who will work with our student organizations to provide exciting, dynamic, and relevant student activities and events. If you're interested in establishing a student organization, please meet with one of our staff members and you and three people and a constitution can create that unique experience here at Eleanor Roosevelt College. Additionally, something that we've added as an opportunity for our students is called the first year experience. And as you can see as you read this, it is really an opportunity for you to have within a classroom setting an opportunity to have a better understanding of the academic and co-curricular expectations of UC San Diego, a way to help you map out your co-curricular opportunities, and to strengthen your organization, your interpersonal communication skills, and your self-wellness skills. We do have a limited number of spaces available for students to participate in this course. As you see, it's around 150 students and you will be able to indicate your interest 
if you would like to participate in this program through the new Triton Advising site that will be open in mid-May. For more information, please make sure to go to http thecolleges.ucsd.edu forward slash FYE. So now what? We encourage you to use the technology that we've all become so dependent upon to explore your major department websites, to look at the variety of websites that have been provided to you by admissions, and that if you believe that ERC and UC San Diego is the right place for you, please make sure to accept your offer of admission by May 1st. If you're interested in living on campus, please make sure that you submit your application by May 8th, 2020. So once you've decided to come to Eleanor Roosevelt College, we will begin by rolling out an online orientation program for you and then send out information about our on-campus orientations that will take place in September. Once again, congratulations, and we hope to see you in September. So we'd like to say thank you for participating in our webinar, our Zoom technology for you, and hope that we'll see you soon. Thanks. I also hope to see you uh, at Eleanor Roosevelt College. <laughs>